Greetings and welcome back to Civilization Beyond Earth, where our forces are arrayed just outside of Cyrus borders. They have a couple of satellites that are trying to repulse Miasma. I'm not too happy about that. They also have a colonizer who looks poised to leave their territory. I may well conquer that colonizer before it has a chance to form an outpost. It depends how it moves, but uh, if they present me with an opportunity to take it, I will. I won't even feel bad about it. Um, we'll see. We will have to see on that one, because uh, this Xenoswarm has only got one turn on building. I could buy another one straight away, actually. I'm tempted to... Uh, actually, I can't buy another Xenoswarm, unfortunately. They're a little bit uh, expensive. 788. Uh, sorry, 780. Oh, actually, I could buy one next turn. Okay, well, we'll see how this goes then. Also, I've got a fresh cup of tea, so I'm going to take a sip of that. Before it gets cold. Where are you going, little colonizer? I need to see how quickly you can move. How many tiles can you cover in your turn? I want to know how far you can get. Uh, I'm going to move over there just in case. And we'll see. New quest, Genetic Entanglement. Our scientists have devoted much effort to the study of this planet's indigenous life forms. They believe these aliens are born with an instinctual memory of their nest's location. If true, we could form a map of the planet's nests simply by studying the biological and chemical makeup of the alien brain. No, not another one. <sighs> Damn it. Okay. Alright, we want another... Perhaps a Xeno Cavalry? I'm not sure about this one. Or maybe a Locust, but that'll take a long time to get. Um, 48 strength. No, we'll go with the Prime Xeno Cavalry Swarm, I think. Get rid of that. Change this production. We will go for a Network. And... You need to be set up for air intercept. This Xeno... Um, what is it? Ze Prime Xeno Swarm can move out. Okay. It all comes down to where you move and where you try to set up on the next turn. If you move onto this hill and set up, I've just made a bad mistake because that's probably a more defensible position. Also, I should have bought another unit. Well, damn. <sighs> really? It's not even like I'm reloading the game or anything like that. I literally just started... I, I stopped the last recording when I made myself tea and I've come back to it. I haven't closed the game down, so I have no idea what you're talking about. <sighs> you are broken. Terribly, terribly broken. And you're about to lose a colonist. <laughs> ah, life is good sometimes. It truly is. All right, then. Let us get our uh, affairs in order. We build a Xeno Sanctuary here. That's about the only thing I could build. But I don't want to spend the Xeno Mass, so no. How about supply? Right, we've got no more supply, actually. So what am I doing over here? Please stop. Change production to... Uh, hmm. I need three petroleum to build that. I've only got one. Oh no, I've been spending my petroleum like crazy building the, the various plants, haven't I? Ah, sod it. Uh, is there any more petroleum around here? There's more down there. Two petroleum there. I'll just have to use my workers to add my asthma for now then. Okay, well in that case, let's uh, start pumping you into social development for now. Although I could go for the mind stem. 
Mm. No, we'll go with social development for now. We'll make uh, further decisions in a moment. Nothing much I want here, so you can also start on social development. What the 95? Only 12 turns. Anyone else? No, I don't think so. I think it is now time for our attack. Well, this is going to happen. Let's go for it. War. Fate is our shield. Uh, I think you need something a little bit more made of matter, honestly, to serve as a good shield, but okay. Destroy me if you can. I can promise you, though, I will not fall before you easily. I can negotiate peace already. Goodbye. There we are. I have taken your worker. Unfortunately, some of... Oh, actually, have all my trade routes stopped? That's not too bad. Right then, I can already bombard you. Yes. Alright, well I can trade with you. Go ahead. Can You can't trade with anyone right now, so you're just going to have to basically hang tight. Oh no, actually, you can probably all trade with that place. You can't, though, so you really will have to uh, just hold on for now. Do nothing for this turn. This war probably won't last over long. I, at least I hope it won't. Can I hit them? No, damn. Bloody walls. Possibly a mistake. I'll leave that there for now. Uh, no, actually, what am I doing? The armor needed to be... Ah, oh, I cocked that move up. Totally cocked that move up. Can I hit anything? No. Okay, well, uh, you're just going to have to wait there then for now. As for you, I really messed that bit up. Let's get into their territory then. You guys can move in. Yeah, oh, that's not good. You can move up. Oh, no, we did have a contender. Ah, okay, not too bad then. I was just being silly. Right, we want to get some of this going. If we place it there, we can actually get the Miasma right over his city. But I'm fairly certain their city will be able to counterattack and just shoot it down. So we'll uh, deploy it there instead. There we go. I think that'll be out of range of them for knocking out our satellites deployed near their territory. I'm not at all sure about that, however. Alright, let's uh, get all of our units in there then. We hope to have this war over with and done with very quickly. But I'm not at all sure that it'll go my way. They are taking damage from the Miasma. They've entered our borders. They can't shoot us, really, can they? Oh, you get. How come you can do that? This will hurt. Uh, it didn't hurt nearly as much as I thought it would. Plus you're in Miasma, so you're going to heal. That worked out well. Intruder alert. An intruder has been identified in our territory. Oh, swines. All right, then. Okay, we managed to siphon some energy. It's quite a lot without being detected as well. Demoria can fire on someone. Who can you hit? You could take them out completely, so please do. You should all... Really? Can you still not attack there? That is terrible. Okay, cancel that. How about you? Can you get out there and attack them? Yes, you can. Make it so. Wow. 
Wow. Did a lot of damage, actually. Can you trade with someone? Yes, you can. Uh, you can probably still trade with no one, so you can stay there for now. You... Uh, everything else seems okay. Let's continue to uh, march in with our cavalry. Oh, they became a worker. Oh, that's a shame. Oh, well. Let's continue to advance for now. I'm not sure if they're going to be able to attack from that location, but we'll see. As for you... Uh, I'm fairly certain you won't be able to attack from that location, but we'll see if we can get onto this tile and attack from there. It's the only thing I can think of. Let's move you up nice and close. Set you up to engage. And on the next turn, you can actually start fighting. We can't retaliate against them yet, but we could... Hmm. No. I think... If I move there, I'm going to be attacked by... The city and two boats. But So, for now, just... Fortify until healed. You'll heal very quickly on that tile, so... Alright. Anything else I want to do down here? Yes, I want to move you up. And... I'll just get you up there, actually. No. I want you to move out there. And you to move into the city. I'll have two abilities to bombard then from the city. Hopefully. We'll see. They've got a lot of uh, troops there that can bombard me, but we should be able to win this particular engagement fairly quickly. Also, I don't need you over here, so uh, why don't you go and join them there? I want my troops down here to stay where they are, though, because I don't want them sneaking around there. Alright, let's uh, continue with the uh, theft of energy, please. And also, let's purchase some buildings down here. We're currently working on a network. Uh, no, actually, there's not much that I want to do here. So, you can just carry on doing your thing, I guess. We'll soon have a lot of money to, to spend on stuff up here. They have a rocket artillery there. Going to be a bit of a problem for us, but... We should be okay for now. See what you get up to. Okay, another bombardment? Yes. Damn it! No! Oh, you swines! There we are. That's what you get. That's why we have our tack jets there. Oh, that was a shame that we lost the uh, Explorer, and before it finished its work as well. Okay. Well, can you bombard anyone? If I set you up from bombardment? No, of course you cannot. That would be far too useful, wouldn't it? Yes, yes it would. Damn it. Right, okay, well you can bomb... Right, cancel that. Bomb City can bombard. Does a chunk of damage there. I could move in then and finish them off, since those are not units that are built for uh, melee combat, really. Likewise here, or could you not reach them in time? I'm not sure. Well, we'll push forward. May as well move you forward then. I've been trying to get you into position for so long. Alright, you'll take them out. But it will put you in a fairly dangerous position, I feel. You've not got enough health to really be that aggressive, I guess. But uh, we'll see how it goes. Now then, time to move in and start the bombardment. Set up for attack. You've got a decent strength. Costly attack, though. We'll observe this one for now. Move you in. Safe attack. A bit closer. 
safe attack as well. I'm not sure I'd call this safe, honestly. Uh... Alright, can you attack from here? Looks like you can. Or I can go for the... Wow, I can take out their boat? Please do. That's fantastic. That'll uh, keep them from harassing my units then. Uh, costly attack, but we'll go for it. Cities are formidable targets that often require four or more units to capture. When you attack them in melee, the city will damage your attacking unit. They also have a ranged bombardment attack that can be used against any besiegers. Are you sure you want to proceed in the attack? Thanks for this Im information. Don't remind me again. I have enough units there. I shouldn't need to be too concerned. And we'll do nothing this turn. Ooh, I need to set you up with something new. And there is really not a lot to do here. So, we'll go ahead with social development as well. 109, so only nine more turns. Oh, so bloody close. We were so close to getting that. I am quite annoyed. Oh, well. Next turn, then. Let's see what you're going to do. We've already done a chunk of damage to them. We've got a lot of units there to do it. Ouch. Was that a mistake? Yes, it was. Well, damn. Quite the mistake. I may pull you back. Oh, maybe too late. Oh, no, no. I've still got a chance to keep you alive. Good. They weren't quite in a position to take you out completely. <sighs> Very sad that the Viper got taken out, though. Okay, we've got some veterans here. A COVID operation was detected in St. Hennith. Quest update. The meaning of life. By building a progenitor, uh, progenitor garden, we take the role of God into our own hands. Oh, that's a bit risky. We now have the means to create life in any form we choose. This is not something to be taken lightly. A careless God creates a life simply because they can, a la Spore. We will not be so careless. Very good. We don't want anyone with bums above their heads. This life will bring into the world will have meaning. These new life forms will exist only to feed our bodies or our minds, whichever is most beneficial. Okay, create a life form for medicinal use, plus 10% city health from progenitor gardens. Okay, so that would increase it to... Th Ooh, that, that would, that's a pretty good one. Science is also really good. Ah, this is hard. Now we're going to go for medicinal use. How much do you make now? Still only 15, that's a shame. Okay. Well, we've got some uh, veterancy. Let's see what you're going to get. You're going to get plus 10 strength and range combat strength. There you are. And who's going to get anything over here? You're also going to get plus 10 strength. You may well be running away in the very near future. Set up for attack and bombard, please. They heal very quickly, so you need to be able to apply a lot of damage. And you need to be able to keep that damage up. We may be able to take this city in the next turn. Or maybe even this one. I think we might be able to take it in this turn. Glorious. Okay, go for it. And there we go. You have pillaged 151 from the capture of Syrah. Oh, Syra. Yeah, actually, it is Syrah. Uh, what would you like to do with the city? We can annex the city. The city... Uh, annexing the city into your colony causes it to become a normal city that will decrease overall health. The annexing the city will decrease health by 22. Oh, man, we've just gone up to 18. <laughs> oh, our health is prosperous. 10% production in all cities, 20% speed towards outpost growth, and fi minus 50% intrigue in cities from hostile COVID operations. We can create a puppet city. 
By turning the city into a puppet, it will generate energy, science, culture, etc. for you, but you may not choose what it produces or customise the city. It will contribute much less ne uh, negative health than an annexed city and will not decrease the cost of your virtues. Or increase, rather. If you choose this, you may later annex the city. We can raise the city, which will give us 22 health. It'll shrink by one each turn, or... Ah, oh, man, that, that's nasty. No, I want this city. I want a coastal city, so... We're going to annex it and just take, take the health hit. Oh, well. We didn't go all the way down. Alright. A unit was killed while defending. Oh, there. That's the unit we lost a little while ago. Uh, Siphon Energy was aborted because we took it over. Right. We're going to reassign you. I would like someone in a place of high intrigue, please. Why don't you check out Central? They used to have very high intrigue, so we can uh, check that out. And choose production. Oh, well, the first thing we want is to spend an awful lot of money in here. Purchase. Oh, really? Can't I purchase anything? Perhaps I can't purchase for a little while. Uh, okay. But, if we return to the map and check our military... We should see that we can now have nine more military units. So, we can bear that in mind as we uh, decide what we're going to do. Um, let's go for a gene garden, I think. Unit needs orders. That is great. We've got a Phyraxite mine there. I can't get off this tile, unfortunately. I am held captive. Uh, let's make our way down here. Well, I could attack them. I could bombard them, perhaps. Make sure you're set up and bombard, please. I want to destroy some more of this stuff before I let them off the hook. Uh, if we get too close, they will attack us pretty heavily. Let's just weaken them with these guys first. Now it's going to be a decisive victory. Now that unit is still not particularly safe. But that's all I wanted to do. I don't want to, I don't want to just crush these guys utterly. I, I think the uh, world is made more entertaining with you still being in it, little puppets. But uh, let's see if you're, you see sense. Where are you? Wow, we've pushed you down. 443 now. We really pushed you down. Wouch. Oh, we captured the Stella Codex. That's why. Really? Let's see what that is giving us. That was a good win. I forgot that you were the one who built the Stella Codex. Plus three science, plus 10% production for orbital units. Orbital coverage around the city increased by four. Okay, that's not too bad at all. Institute, three scientist specialist slots. Gene smelter, auto plant, okay. Alright, well, uh, let's see if you will uh, be willing to go for peace. No lies now. Lost the will to fight? Well. This will never stand. Oh, really? Oh, well, okay. I will crush you utterly. Until you want to have peace, I'm just going to refocus all of my efforts on capturing your cities. That was a bit of a silly move, but okay. Uh, right, have we got any... any Explorers nearby? Yes, we do. We have a lot of explorers nearby. Let's get one of them down here, shall we? Uh, well, I'd like to. Okay, let's uh, move you there. Right. Who else are we going to move around? You guys can hold that city for now. Can you bombard anyone? No. Let's pull you back and have you heal on our in our territory for now. And, of course, get a Xenomass well. Ah, oh, this is good times. You guys, however, need to be over here now. So let's get you on the move. Um, oh, wait, 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 wait. Did I tell you to? Ah, I should be able to trade with my own place now. Ah, oh, glorious. That is good. As for you, yeah, you guys can uh, heal up for now. And is that it? I think it may be. 
Got an awful lot of money though, so and I've got room for a couple of new things. So I'm gonna buy a locust here. I may also buy uh, yeah, I'll buy a prime Xeno Swarm. As well. Okay. You really should have taken peace. I'm sorry to say, but you have chosen poorly there. I'm actually not that sorry. Okay, I'm going to have to pull you back into our territory to heal up for a little bit, I think. Your ideology is outmoded, obsolete. If it functioned as you believe it does, you'd still be on Earth and everything would be fine. Shut up. The Fremen were not on Earth. That is the great difference here. We have sandworms. I mean earthworms. Wait, that is actually a species and it is not nearly as intimidating as a sandworm. Never mind, I said nothing. Uh, can I not bombard with you? Can you bombard them? No. Can I move you here and then bombard them? Damn it, it's going to be a little while before I can bombard them, it seems. Okay, let's get you there. As for you... Yes, let's move you in, in here. You can swap places. No, actually, you, you just... Uh, can I get you out? Yes, good. You can heal up on the Miasma. That'll be a little bit better for you. You can build a Xenomass well. You can trade with the Moria. Alright, we're getting things back in order a little bit. Let's get you to fortify until you're fully healed. I'd like you guys to move forward so you can bombard them on the next turn. As for you, I would very much like you to come and join the fight. Uh, I'm not sure you're needed there. I don't think you can actually help us in this particular fight. So yeah, get over here as well. If they, if they really want to, to draw this out, I'm going to make it incredibly costly for them. Do they have a plane? They do not. I could perhaps target them. Ranged attack there, or I could go for this unit, damage it up a bit. That is a powerful unit, so I'm not really sure I want to leave it there. I could even go for their worker, just to be a pest. No, go for their uh, advanced robotic unit over there. That is a unique unit for the supremacy line. But that's probably going to be healed, so I probably won't use that attack again. I'll just have them uh, go on air intercept. Uh, as for you, let's get a, a generator going. All right, we are slowly adding some more miasma there. We have got so many resources that we can now tap into. That is really glorious. Though, why we have... An academy built on geothermal. I have no idea what was going on there, but it's kind of stupid. Alright, you're going to attack me. I'm not disturbed by your worldview as much as I am saddened. Your sphere of experience is so small. Your clothes are stupid. Go away, you old woman. <sighs> no respect for elders when they're stupid ones. Ouch! That really hurt. That really hurt. Thankfully, that's about all they can do is bombard us, but we need that to help a bit. Deorbit imminent. Hasn't actually spread that much miasma, I must, be, I must confess. I'm a little bit uh, disturbed by that one. Uh, okay. Let's establish a network over here quickly. So we can see what's going on. Uh, I would really like to resolve the problems over in this city, honestly. Can you bombard now? Yes, you can. There we go. Fantastic. Alright, I would like to get you down here as soon as I can so you can start exploring. I would like you to heal up. You to go... Ooh, they have moved in. This is not good. 
Can you bombard them? You can. You will kill them. As for you, go into air intercept for now. I'm going to keep one of my ranged units nearby just to protect this city. Uh, we will press against your capital shortly. But we've got a quest. The population of one of our cities is in an uproar over their new Xeno Sanctuary. Apparently there is a religious group which worships the indigenous creatures of this planet. You'd say it isn't so! They see the Xeno Sanctuary as a spiritual temple and would have it converted into a place of holy refuge and meditation. This would be fine if not for the city's scientists who wish to use the sanctuary as a source of edible uh, indigenous plants. Unfortunately, these two desires are mutually exclusive. We will have to decide who to please and who to disappoint. We got plus two culture from Xeno Sanctuaries or plus two food. Culture, please. There is a growing movement of those who find spiritual peace in this pla planet. Let us encourage it, that it may spread from here and we shall gain credit for its origins. Possible tie-in to maybe expansion that adds religion. That is actually something I quite enjoyed in uh, Civilization V, I have to be honest. Uh, okay. Unit needs movement. Uh, no, you... Uh, I don't know. Stay on alert for now until we've got more of our army over here. We want to press in with force. Uh, is everything else okay? Damn it. How is our health doing? Not well. Not well at all. Uh, I wonder if that, that health goes down at all. That massive negative. Two from cities, 20 generated from number of cities, 47.25 generated by population, and six generated by specialists. Really? Have we got some specialists? Perhaps we have some in St. Kenneth. Uh, citizen management. Can I... No? Have we got any... Anyone set up? No. Hmm. I have no idea what's going on there, then. Uh, no, I want that open. I just don't want it shown. Damn it. Stupid. Right, uh, as for you... You should be... Stationed at the moment. So, new turn. Wow, 35 healed and you weren't even on my asthma there. We're gonna have two new sources of... Ooh, well done. That was fantastic. Having you there is really, really awesome. And you got some EXP from it as well. I think they get... Both of them get EXP from that we attack. too late the importance of safeguarding the precious gifts of nature. The parting gift of the elephant was the wisdom to be good stewards of the next planet. Aww. Did we kill the elephants back on Earth? No wonder it went to shit. Stupid humanity. Culture plus four provides a free Xeno Sanctuary in the city in which it is built. That is glorious because it uh, would have cost us quite a lot of Xeno Mass otherwise. Let's check out Demoria. Where is it? Where is that Xeno Sanctuary? Did it cost us? Oh, actually, no, it would have only cost us one. Never mind. But, next choice. I'm going to go for the Alien Preserve. Get a little bit more uh, culture going. And, Veterancy gained. Glorious. And since you're at full health, the only thing I can choose is to increase your strength. And, now that you're free, let's get you down here with the rest of the army. Uh, hmm. I could... Can I bombard tile improvements? I'm not sure if I can. Let's not then. Let's move into position and prepare to attack. You can remain there for now. 
Uh, you can start moving. I don't need you to be at full health. I just want you to have a decent amount. Uh, where is our explorer? Can you be sent there? Yes, you can. That is glorious. Ah, oh, this is really, really well. I'm going to need to get some of my uh, workers up there to continue expanding that area properly. But... Our health is much better than I was expecting it to be. I am really, really happy with that. We're generating 127 culture a turn right now. Two from excess health. That is amazing. But that is also the end of this episode. So, I hope you've enjoyed our short... Well, it's actually still ongoing, but uh, relatively short. Because I, I hope we don't have to take more cities, but I will if they don't let me make peace. But, uh, yes, I hope you enjoyed our war, even though that would make you horrible people for saying something like that. But uh, that is it for now. So, uh, until next we meet, do take care.